And it's been a really long while since I want to watch a movie so bad. I think that movie was Excess Baggage. And it did not disappoint. Cardinal was so good and so did the whole prod. This vlog, I hope, will not be full of spoilers, but the things why you should watch the movie and my takeaways. So choosing the cinema is important as well. So I'm torn between SMOA and Lucky Chinatown. So as of now, there's no online booking for SM Mall of Asia. So I tried looking for online system for Lucky Chinatown. And, and I found one. I found that you just have to go to blockbusterseats.com. So I'm gonna record it in my phone and show it to you. And it's recording. Okay, so here in blockbusterseats.com, you can actually choose um, the mall. So you could have here Eastwood Cinema, Festive Walk Cinemas, Lucky Chinatown Cinemas, Newport, Southwood, Uptown, and Venice. So you just go to Lucky Chinatown and then you can select on the date. So it's 5.30 now. Hey, 5.30, done. And then choose the movie. So that will be 11.30. Then you'll be prompt to, I think, the login. Now, um, if you don't have any account yet, you can sign up. And these are the details. So, there, so on, so on. But since I have it already, so I'm just gonna log in. And then, grabe wala pang laman. Okay. I know the Laka Chinatown is has two close screen, but I really like the seats in front. So I think I prefer the 06. No, 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 the 05 na lang. So the 05. My favorite number is 5. And yeah, so since I'm gonna go alone. Yeah. So yep, there, credit card. And then blah 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 And agree And then proceed to pay And then Continue So that's 320 pesos And it's now finalizing So for the transaction Oops Waiting And then you'd get o o OTP And there there you have it. I have read and submit. And it's done. And hi guys, I'm here at Lucky Chinatown to watch Alone Together. See ya! Hey guys, so we know not in free stuff. So that's a good thing about the uh, Lucky Chinatown World Cinemas. Mega World Cinemas for that matter. Uh, you can take it to luck would have 60 pesos worth of uh, free stuff. So we will not end the Batay Cinema. Bye! And I already got my ticket. So we will go to cinema. And we will see you when we the movie. Yeah, excited. Bye! And you can still hear 214 by J.M. De Guzman. And we will finish the movie alone together. And we will go to the next location for the review. Bye! 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 And here forever. So we are here at Hobe. Where I ordered mango cheesecake thing soup. And let's try it. While we review the Alone Together movie. Ka upload ko pala ng TVJ ko. Ito agad. Ano na? <laughs> I just got a small pizza and cheese. It's good. So I have some pointers here. And ito yung mga comments ko regarding the story. Number one realistic siya for college student in GTEC. Very instrumental yan sa mga nag-aaral. Yung GTEC na nakalagay dito ni Raph at one scene. 
also yung highlights ni Liza. It tells so much about the time. Yun yung time na usok uso ba most lahat ng uh, girls may highlights and even some boys di ba nagkaroon ng highlights and so much more. So yun lang yung few of the things that I can share. Probably you have seen that in the trailers about uh, how realistic storytelling was at that movie. I think super totoo lang with all the lantern parade, also the New York, the hospital, the settings are really okay. Grabe, ay yung storytelling very totoo. So, I really think that sobrang ganda. Now, let's talk about the characters. Yung characters, uh, we have seen them starting si Raph. Raph is in Ricky Hill. Raph was, ano ba? Um, your normal student, di ba? A happy go lucky, you know. Pero, you have Liza Soberano who thinks that she can change the world by herself, di ba? So, she's so idealistic. And I think, with that starting thought, or ano uh, yung nangyari sa kanila, it tells so much kung ano yung improvement ng character. So, that, that's what you call character development. And I think, it revolved around the words, baguhin ng mundo. And I think, dun lahat siya nagsimula. And I'm not sure if this is the post. There are also a few topics that subtly uh, were discussed in the film. I think the most important is the never forget. Being a UP student, I think uh, Antonet Hadaune still has to speak about that. Lalong lalo na it's really an important time for us to get election na. And that's an important lesson sa, that the things in the past should always help us in our decision for our future. So you never forget that it was discussed in a different setup in a time, but still it holds true for the current situation. Next, the brain drain issue. Of course, Life Soberano has so much big dreams, but that line na babalik ako, I think that tells a lot kung ano yung intention. And hindi siya masyadong napapakinggan. We just uh, know that whenever someone leaves the country, it's the end of it. And there's so much more that when they come back, may intention sila to transfer the technology. And I hope those things will happen then for those people na nasa ibang bansa. One thing lang, yung sa soundtrack, hindi ko kasi sure if nagamit properly yung 214. Parang for me, Spoliarium would be the better, ano ba, better na nagamit in the scoring. But nevertheless, it was perfect. Um, mas sakto yung pagkakaareglo, arrangement dun sa Spolarium at that crucial moments. And, ang ganda, sobra. And I'm not sure how 2-1-4 would play out. And for me, it's also my favorite. I'm just gonna speak more about my favorite lines on the movie. Pero syempre, ito yung probably title ko. Ang hina ako naman sa'yo. Yun. So, yun yung number one. And I hope you watch that movie for you to know ano yung mga context na masasabihin ko. Also, next is, this is really sad. I hope na hindi siya masyadong spoiler, but I made it to a point to stay away. To stay away from who I was. That's so deep. And sobrang sakit for someone to, to, to tell him or herself. So, I hope nobody would be in that position. Also, the, somewhere along the way, we have to, we have to give up for others. So, super sakit ng, ng mga ganong lines and ayun nga. So, I hope you watch that movie for you to understand the context of that. For the story, uh, the story, sobrang ganda ng flow. Tapos, sobrang totoo ng mga characters. If I were on those person's shoes, probably I would have done the same. And I think that's really good na hindi siya yung magbubulat ka na ito yung naging um, decision nila. It was real and you were with them in that incredible journey. Sobrang ganda ng character development in the whole story. Next, the point na didiscuss ko sa release climax. But of course, hindi ko siya didiscuss because I don't want to ruin that um, moment for you. So I hope you watch the, the movie alone together in your theaters nationwide. So mga start lang yan. And I hope that it runs for several weeks because ang, ga ang ganda. And for me, eh, ang may, may, may iba siyang na-touch sa akin. And I hope that um, somehow or uh, that somehow or in, in one way or another, it has touched you in some way. Now, for me, the resolution, ito yung probably medyo nabigyan ako. Um, of course, as a fan, iba yung gusto kong mangyari. But of course, reflecting, it should be the right way. And with all of the things that have happened, it's just fine. Yeah, alam mo yun. And it's reality. 
probably kung ako yung andon, I would have done much more or worse. Hindi ko sure, pero anyway, you'll understand pag napanood mo. And I hope you watch it. Let's talk about, hindi ko alam kung spoiler to, pero medyo lilihis na ako ng, ng bahagya when it comes to the movies. For me, that movie is not about a love story, but rather you pursuing your dreams. And din yung pinaka talagang tumatak sa akin. And my question was, am I having a Liza moment? Or a thin moment? Well, mukha namang okay dun sa movie, di ba? Or the trailer, rather. Liza is having a pretty rough time. And I think hindi naman sinabi ko ano reason, and I won't tell that. But that's obvious. Um, she's um, just have a hard time figuring things out. And am I on that moment as well? Um, siguro pwede because I also think on pursuing the arts. That's why I'm here. I mean, again, it's not um, arts. It's not just about self-expression, but also serving. So anyway, probably yes, probably not. But I just hope that it's not too late for anyone else to choose their dreams or pursue their dreams. I have seen people who have earned so much and forget about who they were before earning so much, earning something. And I hope that it's not too late for some people to pursue whatever they want. And I think that's really the essence of the movie. And for me, that's how the movie affected me with pursuing my dreams. So I hope you watch that movie too because I really like that movie or even more. So again, please do watch that movie alone together on your theaters nationwide. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Never Spire Vlogs. And see you. Bye.